How to add noise gradients in Affinity Photo. Go over to a layer menu and down to new fill layer. So new fill layer, create a solid color. That's the default solid color. Then go to linear or elliptical. I'm gonna go with elliptical. Now with the gradient tool, now I can manipulate this. You can see the gradient controls. Don't have to do that, but it's quite handy to do that. Also, you can click here and you can see the first stop and the last stop. It has to be two stops. So I'm just gonna select the first stop, click the color, so you can see the color there. And down the bottom, you've got noise. And you can see straight away, now you can set it to 10%, 20%, not certain even the percentage it just goes up to the max there's unfortunately no actual value you can't enter a value so i don't know it might be 10 20 30. however once you've done that you can go to the last one just there and click there and you can change the color so you've got a different color now that's got no noise still so i'm just going to increase the noise and again doesn't tell me whether i've got 100 or whatever Okay, so I've got noise throughout this thing. So that's, straight away, you've got your noise gradient. However, say you want to vary the colors a bit. So click there. If I say insert at this point, if I can insert one, so I'm just going to insert. Unfortunately, when it inserts, it inserts it without noise, which is fine if that's what you want. One without noise, perfectly reasonable. But again, you can click there, the color, and you can go to noise and increase that. Maybe make it like there. But you can also select this one, say the first one, and go copy. And that will create a copy of it, but in between this one and this one. And that does have noise. So copy has the noise, insert doesn't. And again, you can click on this one and you can set the noise to what you want. So you've got your noise gradient. Of course, you can combine noise gradients just as basic layer, you can duplicate this layer. So I'll just go over here to layers panel and you can right click and you can duplicate. So with that, again, gradient tool, and this is for the second one, and that's got noise as well, and you can move it around. You can also go up here to the blend modes. And that, of course, creates some very interesting different noise effects just by going for add instead. So you've got that and you can move it around. And of course, you can also merge them as well. Go to the layer menu and then down to merge visible. So they're all both merged into one pixel layer. And as a pixel layer, you can apply effects to it as well. So you've got your gradient. So you've got your very noisy gradient. Of course, you've got filters. You could add some more noise, add noise, etc. Loads of other noise options available. You can also go to distort and deform. So there, just select that, just drag it up here. Now I'm gonna go with similarity. I prefer similarity, really like that one. And you can add some handles and you can distort it. And that creates some really wonderful noise effects simply by sort of very different sort of, instead of the very regular sort of noise, you can really distort it and create these lovely sort of curls and stretch lines. You may or may not like that sort of thing. You can also have these pinch points, which I think really look great. Click apply, I'll just move that out of the way and you can see the noise design there, a noise gradient. And of course you can always go to filters and repeat deform and apply it again. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Or tweak the colors again if you wish. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.